All right, Matthew, time for some panic or patience. Let's kick it off in Chicago with David Montgomery. Had a ton of fantasy buzz heading into the season, but on Sunday he had him four, that's right, four touches for 19 yards and a fumble, Matthew. Panic or patience on David Montgomery? I mean, like, haven't we already been panicking on David Montgomery? Like, who's just starting to panic now? Like, it's brutal. And the weird part is, is I don't think he's played all that poorly. I just honestly have no idea what Matt Nagy's doing with this offense. On Sunday, Chicago ran the ball seven times, and they let Mitch Trubisky drop back 56 times. I get it. They were down for a while, but he got down big after a little bit, but still, come on. Since Tariq Cohen is purely a passing game option now, Montgomery needs to be the way that the Bears move the ball to have more some balance on offense. But until that happens, yeah, I don't, I don't know how you can trust him. Honestly, other than Allen Robinson, is there anyone in the Bears you feel good about starting other than the defense, of course? Like, yes, panic on the entire team, including David Montgomery. All right, let's move on to Philly, where Zach Ertz had just two catches against the Cowboys on Sunday night. He scored just one more touchdown than you and I have this season, Matthew Barry. Time to panic or have patience with Zach Ertz. Look, it might be time for at least a little bit of panic on Zach Ertz. Look, we know he's not going to repeat last year's historic numbers. We knew that in the preseason. It's why he's on the preseason hate list. But this is a bigger drop-off than anyone expected. I mean, Dallas Goddard has outproduced Ertz each of the last two weeks. I I do expect things to open up more for Ertz once Deshaun Jackson returns to the lineup. But honestly, between the emergence of Darren Waller and Mark Andrews, the return of Hunter Henry, having Ertz no longer gives you the same advantage at tight end that it did in previous seasons. So, yeah, I don't know how you don't panic. Having said that, I don't know what you do, except you got to keep rolling them out there because the tight end position is so brutal. Who's next, Secret Squirrel? All right, Matthew Berry, future Hall of Famer Larry Fitzgerald, who was supposed to play, was active, and actually did play on Sunday, yep. hasn't scored a touchdown since week three, and on Sunday against the Giants, he had just one catch. Matthew, Larry Fitzgerald, panic or patience? Look, I get it. I have my own issues with the Cardinals offense, especially this week, but I'm still saying patience here with the future Hall of Famer. Not taking much away from this game, honestly. With David Johnson banged up, Christian Kirk and out, Cardinals haven't been running their regular offense the past couple of weeks. And prior to this game, Fitzgerald had at least five catches in every game so far this year. Hard to be upset with that kind of floor as Kyler Murray continues to get more and more experience. I think this offense will only go up. All right, Secret Squirrel, who's next? The Rams got a much-needed win on Sunday against the hapless Falcons, but again, did not get much from Brandon Cooks, who has only eight reception totals in his last Three games, eight receptions in three games, Matthew Berry. Panic or patience on Brandon Cooks? I get the question. I get the concern. Eight receptions! Yeah, I know, but I'm still going patience on Brandon Cooks. Look, I get benching him. I can understand that. But it feels like a big game is, is just around the corner for Cooks. Remember, he has at least eight targets in three of his last five games, and those two games where he doesn't have one, one of them he left early with a concussion. The other one was the Jared Goff disaster game against the 49ers. He's too talented. McVay's too good of a play caller. Goff is better than he's shown. I do think better days are ahead for Brandon Cook. So I get the concern, but I am preaching patience at least for one more week. All right, Secret Squirrel, who's next? All right, we're going to finish in Cincinnati, and I want to apologize, Bengals fans, for the horrific start to the season you've had. Where Tyler Boyd had just eight receptions for 65 yards in his last two games combined, Matthew. Panic or patience on Tyler Boyd? Look, I get it, but it's patience with Tyler Boyd. I understand it. The production hasn't been there in recent weeks, but the opportunity is way too massive to ignore. Boyd, third, third in the NFL in total targets right now. He's averaging over 10 per game. And with the issues the Bengals have on defense and that offensive line, we know they're going to have to keep throwing. Last year, Boyd's splits were also better with A.J. Green in the lineup. So if we believe Green is getting closer to returning, that should help open up things for Tyler Boyd as well. So, yes, I am staying patient here with Tyler Boyd. What are you waiting for? Tune into the Fantasy Show with Matthew Berry all season long, streaming exclusively on ESPN+. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. Remember to download the free ESPN Fantasy app. And for streaming sports and premium content, like the fantasy show, be sure to subscribe to ESPN+.